Hey guys, Carrie O'Hara out here in Boise, Idaho. Today we are going to talk about our current market conditions. Um, it's been a bit frustrating and a little bit frantic for some people, so I want to educate with this video, not continue to, I don't know, fuel the fury that a lot of people have going on right now. So first of all, let's talk about the situation we're in because a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to wait because we're in a bubble. Well, a bubble is when the prices are rising as well as the supply. What's going on right now in our market in Boise is that we have this incredible demand from people moving in from all over the country um, and people entering the housing market for the first time. And then we have a decrease in our inventory. So um, the builders are trying to keep up, but they can't because we have an issue with our subcontractors. We don't have enough subcontractors to keep up with that demand to build those houses. So that in turn is making all of our houses, both the new construction and the resale go up, up, up. Uh, for people who are coming to visit and they are thinking about moving here, but they're still years off, please keep in mind that Boise is growing. It continues to grow. And, you know, since we've come back from the recession, we have seen every year housing prices go up, up, up. And it is frustrating. It's totally understandable to come here and say, okay, well, that's the place where I'm going to retire. And then you come back a couple years later and I've had this happen with clients and it, it's honestly heartbreaking because what you showed them a couple of years ago is not what our current market is. So if you are coming here to buy a home, um, what do you need to know? First of all, you need to have an incredibly strong offer. How can you make your offer strong? First of all, make sure that you're pre-qualified. Pre-qualification by a local lender is always best just because the other agents um, on the other side of the transaction who are representing the seller may have worked with that lender or at least know that they are uh, fully aware of the Boise market and the uh, laws in the state of Idaho when it comes to purchasing a home. So pre-qualification, of course, number one. Um, and if you have a home to sell, you want to have no contingencies. As, or as little contingencies as possible when you put that offer in. So if you have a home to sell, maybe get that home sold or at least pending and then come here. And buyers, our sellers here are very aware of the market in California and so are the agents here. So they know that you, things that go on the market in California also tend not to um, be on the market very long. So it's not a huge deal, but you should at least have your home listed or pending. Um, don't come and put an offer in saying, I'm going to get my house on the market. We're dealing with a lot of multiple offer situations. So that offer compared to one who has no house to sell and has no contingencies, of course, is um, not going to be as desirable. The big silver lining here is that historically, we have seen a lot more houses come on the market in March, April and May in our market than in the other months. So, um, the inventory that we have now, hopefully, our fingers are crossed for everyone, will continue to go up as we head into spring. Of course, make sure that you have someone on your side, an agent on your side, who has dealt with multiple offer situations. That is something that is happening all the time. So I can't reiterate that enough. Make sure that your agent is aware of that and knows how to deal with them and knows how the tricks of the trade to kind of get you in and give you the best shot at getting that house. And um, an agent said to, me, said to me yesterday, I thought this was great advice, you just have to go with your gut because a lot of these houses, some sellers are reviewing the offers as they come in. Some wait until, you know, say if it goes on the market on Friday, they wait until Monday to review offers. Um, that's not always best case scenario because that kind of drives the the frantic feeling around it that you've got to get your offer in and that 10 other people might be putting an offer in. So um, just know that and make sure that you can do your very best to get that house. So it's a jungle out there, but you can get through it. Um, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to email me or check out my website, relocationboiseidaho.com. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon.